Are you still struggling with clunky PDF tools that slow you down or cost a fortune? Imagine editing, signing, and sharing PDFs faster and smarter with the help of AI. Welcome to Paxit PDF Editor, your all-in-one solution for modern document workflows. Oxit PDF Editor is a powerful, user-friendly platform trusted by professionals worldwide as a top alternative to traditional PDF software. With Foxit, you can create, edit, and organize PDFs, add legally binding e-signatures, and even leverage AI-powered tools to analyze, summarize, and translate documents. All in one place. Foxit stands out with its lightning-fast performance, extensive editing and collaboration features, and seamless integrations with Microsoft Office 365, Google Workspace, Salesforce, and more. So whether you're a student, business professional, or anyone who works with digital documents, Foxit helps you boost productivity, streamline e-signatures, and keep your files secure. Plus, with Faxit AI's feature powered by ChatGPT, it's so much easier than ever to extract data, create content, and get work done efficiently. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the basics of Faxit PDF Editor, like how to create and edit PDFs, add e-signature, use AI-powered tools, and integrate Faxit with your favorite apps. So first things first, head over to their website, which is Foxit.com. As you have noticed, they have a lot of tools right here. For this part, we'll be using their PDF editor. In this case, just click onto this trial now under it, and then just input right here your details, click onto this free trial, and proceed with this. From in there, you should be able to have this. You will have a 14 day free trial courtesy of Foxit. You can choose the PDF editor for Windows. They also have Mac, they have the cloud, eSign, as well as the mobile app. In this case, let's head over and use first a PDF editor in the cloud. Now this is what it looks like. So in this, let's head over and then open a file. Click on this open file option, and you can upload files from your local computers, OneDrive, Box, Dropbox, Google Drive, iManage, as well as Ignite. For this case, let's head over and choose a file that we want to actually put into this. I have uploaded right here a file, and here it is right here. So as you can see, you can also use the AI bookmark for this case. Now, as you have noticed, this is actually quite big. So let's head over and then resize this right here. Now, this is our actual file. As you can see, we have the logo, the headings. We have in here the greetings, the actual body of the letter, as well as authorized signage, title of that as well. So you can just utilize in here the tools that we have. So as you can see, if I click on any part of the body, I won't be able to actually edit it. So what we can do is we can click onto this edit text option. And then it will ask if you would like to enable local fonts. So for this one, I'll just keep the current font settings and click on no. Now from in there, this allows me now to edit the message. For example, let's click onto this part. As you can see, I can remove this part. I can edit it. I can add some more on this right here as well. I can edit the name as well as the details right here according to my liking as well. Now if you want to edit a specific object, you can click onto this edit object option and you can choose what kind of object you want to edit. So as you can see in this actual document, I have in here this design. Now I want to remove this, but if I click on the edit text, it won't allow me to remove it. So that's why I click onto this edit object and click onto this image. Now you can click onto this image object right here. I have in here this. You can just select that particular image object, or you can also just select this based on the part. You can select this part and edit or delete it according to their liking. Now into this, we can also add some more. So since we can edit this, we can add some text, add images, add shapes, 
So it's sort of like a Microsoft Word file through this part. Now let's try to use its AI. For example, let's click onto this AI right here. This is actually their support center powered by AI. You can open it and then input right here questions. Like for example, let's help extract data. Explain to me the content of this file. So let's ask them this question. And this should be able to give us the actual content of the file that we have right here into this. So you can provide more details in order to make this possible as well. Now for the e-sign, we can also use this right here. Since this is a legally binding document, let's click onto this box that e-sign. And as you can see, you can manage signature, apply signature, or input right here for predefined text. You can also put right here a request signature form into this part. For example, if you're the one who's authorized to sign, you can input right here your actual sign signature right there. And it should be able to be added automatically. So this signature is actually predetermined or pre-made by the actual faucet for you. Now let's try to explore the request signature option. You can click onto this option right here, and then this will upload the file into the cloud, and then you can send this particular file to someone in order to request for their signature. So wait for this to actually upload the file for you in this case. You can also create an online form and then check the document status for this one as well. We also have the option to send this document in bulk if you would want. Now, as you can see, you can now find it under your recent documents. So you have the option to click onto this right here. And then from this part, you can protect this PDF and request signatures using this. So if you actually requested signatures, you can send it to people that you want to request it with into this part as well. So you can actually do this, use quick recognition, and send this in bulk as well. Now into this part, it should be able to appear into this. Now the great thing about Foxit is you can chat with your documents. You can click onto this AI chat right here. It is powered by ChatGPT and you can just drag the files right here. So let's choose from our recent files. And then from in there, they should be able to open the file. And we can have a word and then chat with this particular file in order to ask for its content and specificity of this right here. You can find it right there under the AI option. So as you can see, Foxit can actually do a lot of things for you. So thank you for watching our Foxit PDF Editor tutorial for newbies. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your colleagues who is looking for a better PDF solution. Don't forget to subscribe for more guides on digital productivity tools. So which Foxit feature are you most excited to try? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching.